Bitcoin is a worldwide cryptocurrency and digital payment system called the first decentralized digital currency since the system works without a central repository or single administrator. Now, futurist Mark Pesci believes it is one of the many tools Papua New Guinea could use on its way to development. He said a digital money economy is on the horizon for PNG as the infrastructure is not expensive. I think what we're going to start to see is we're going to move, mobile money is a great place to start, but the next place we're going to go is what we call digital money. So it's money that is issued by the central bank that lives on your smartphone. You can send it immediately to anyone else's smartphone, a business can send it to another smartphone. And so it then essentially what happens is that your smartphone is your bank, even though you probably still have a connection to an actual bank through your telco. And so what happens is now people start to have very rich capacity to bank and to move money around and to invest very easily through this. But the other thing is it does is it makes it super easy to trade across the country very quickly and very easily. And so that will now promote a lot of trade across Papua New Guinea. Not immune to fraud, having such a decentralized system may pose a greater risk than benefit. And according to the governor of the central bank, Loi Bakani, though there have been trials in the country, there is no Bitcoin technology in PNG as yet. I received some rumors that there are some people saying um, uh, something about the bitcoins being introduced. So uh, I think my advice, not I think, but my definite advice, that's uh, anything to do with bitcoin being introduced or being available in Papua New Guinea uh, can be considered a scam at this stage until and unless we come out and openly say, okay, it's available. Uh, at the moment, uh, it's not available in Papua New Guinea, but some people are trialing it out and it's not been a, it's not acceptable yet as part of a, a cryptocurrency in Papua New Guinea. Leon Gerari, National MTV News, Sydney.